friends, today we're going to use Tinkercad, two 3D printers, and Gloop to make a super fast multicolor keychain. So let's get cracking. Before we dive in, friends, I do want to mention Gloop. You can find it at 3dgloop.com. As you can see, friends, it is ludicrously strong 3D print glue. I was able to test it at 3D Printopia, and now it's time to put it to use in the lab. We will start today's project in Canva. And I am going to simply do an Instagram square post. If you've been following the channel at all, I'm a bit of a Detroit homer. Today we're going to make a sweet Detroit Lions keychain. Notice I'm hitting text box and we're going to put grit on our keychain. Once you click it, let's find a fun font to play with. I'm going to switch to the handwriting styles. And after scrolling through them all, I'm going to pick Monslavo. Once I click on it, I am going to click on effects. I'm going to go to outline. I want the outline to be the same color. So I'm going to make sure I select that black. And then I'm also going to click on the spacing. And I want to make sure those letters connect. So I'm just dragging them until they line up just like that. Now I can select this all. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Now let's get it ready for use. We're going to do file and we're going to do download. And I'm going to save it as a PNG. I'll just put it in my downloads folder and hit save. Next up, we need to visit the website Pick SVG and we need to upload that picture. Notice it's in my downloads. We can double click it. It shows up. I do not want these outlined edges. They are cool, but what I want instead is the internal one. I like to use internal number two and we can simply download that SVG. I am going to change the name to grit. And I kept the one accidentally, but what the heck, we'll just save that too. Now, friends, we can move to Tinkercad, choose Create, and New 3D Design. I'm going to start by changing the name. We're going to call this Grit, and I'll also put KC for Keychain after it. And then we can simply import that shape we designed. Choose File. There's Grit. I want Art. I want my keychain to be about 70 millimeters, so I'm just going to choose 70 for the width. And now I can click import and wait for it to arrive. It only takes a moment. There we are. I'm going to change the height of the text piece to one millimeter. And I'm going to do control D and I'm going to make the base of the keychain. Check this out. Switch to outer line. I'm going to change this number to two. I always make this round and I'm going to bump up the quality and I'm going to also pick a more fun color. Because it's Detroit Lions, we'll go with the blue. I'm going to take the letters here and do control up to raise them up. So you see how this will be two layers. And then we also need to fill in the underneath. We're going to simply click on this and do control D to duplicate it again. And we're going to take the next one and we're going to change it to silhouette. It takes a moment to switch, but bingo, there is our fun grit keychain. I do want to add a hole for the keychain. Today I'm going to do that using the tube. I love this because I can get it in place and then just mess with the numbers till I'm happy. So if I do a radius of three, that means it's six millimeters across. If I do 0 0.5, I'm going to change that height to one and press enter and move that into the place. You can see how that works all right, but it's not very sturdy. So we're simply going to change it to four. And I'm going to make this one or 1 1.5. So we've, and just like that, we've got our fun little keychain connection. I'm going to take these two and do control G to group them. Of course, making sure that the blue stays. I want this to be nudged in a hair further so I can double click and edit it. And I'm going to just move it to right there. That's not quite perfect. So I'm going to go to the grid and set it to 0.1. I like that better. And then I'm going to change this wall thickness to two. And I like that even more. When I click out here, the edit completes. Now, friends, we are going to do this with two separate printers. I'm going to click on the word grit, move it out in front, and I'm going to do D to drop. So it is on the work plane and ready to be printed. Let's export that. STL. I'm going to put this in my 3D modeling folder. It's going to be the grit keychain and this will be the words and hit save. And then this right here, I'm going to grab those two parts. I'm going to also do export the selected shapes STL. And after a moment, I can add that name. This will be the grit keychain 
base and hit save. All right, so once again, we're going to run this on two different printers. I've got the Artillery X4 Pro. I'm going to open that one. It is loaded with an awesome blue from Epax. I'm going to make that the base and choose open. Because of how thin and small this is, check it out. When we hit slice, we're looking at a print that's a total of five minutes. I think I'm going to actually make this two millimeters thick. Let's bounce back to the design. I'm going to click on it and I want to choose the scale option. And then I only want to scale in one direction. So I'm going to unlock the padlock and I want this to be two millimeters thick and press enter. That'll make it just a little bit more sturdy. Once again, I'm going to hit slice now. You can see now the project takes eight minutes. And because the Artillery X4 is a clipper machine using Wi-Fi, I can click here and choose Upload and Print. We'll check on that print in a moment. Right now we're going to switch to Kira. I want to switch to the Soval SV06. Once again, we're going to open the file, find the words. This is going to be printed in silver. I will leave these at one millimeter thick. I'm going to simply plug in my SD card and then choose Save to Removable Disk. Finally eject, and I'll take that to the printer. Let's get it started. I do want to quickly highlight that I love this Fast PLA Plus from Epex. This blue has been fantastic for all my Detroit Lions projects. Both prints turned out absolutely awesome, so let's get to the gloop process. All right, so gloop comes in several flavors. We've got PLA, so I printed in PLA. There are also several sizes. I'm going to use the small one right here do make sure you check the safety information you don't want to breathe this stuff in you don't want to let it touch your skin and you want to clamp it together when you're done so first things first sand both sides slather it on both surfaces give them clamps and then wait 15 minutes and finally enjoy the power of gloop all right so i've got my gloves let's do some quick sanding gotta love the power of video editing let's open it up take off a little bit Make sure I've got the correct side. Once again, do not want to get this on your skin. Add some where the letters are going to be. I want to make sure this lines up inside the shapes. Center of the eye. Close that up so we don't have any spillage. Carefully pick up our letters. Let's slide them in place. And clamp. Let's come back in 15 minutes and see what we built. All right, everybody, so more than 15 minutes later, check it out. Keychain looks awesome, and this stuff will not come apart. How cool is that? Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to mention if you have a multicolor capable printer, I've got lots of tutorials that help with that. I'll make sure there are cards up above. Of course, I want to highlight how amazing I think Gloop is. There will be more trials coming soon. And of course, I love that blue filament from Epax. I also want to give a quick shout out to my supporters on Patreon. Absolutely love how that community's grown. And of course, you can find out more by checking below. And of course, friends, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget, every time you click that like button, share a video, hit subscribe, or add a comment, you're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Of course, friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Yeah.